right, let's talk about this week. I had no idea, but this is a great reminder for everybody to get moving. The first week, week of October is called Active Aging Week. And we've got Ash Woking here from Total. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Right, you know, let's talk about why it's important for people not to wait until you get older to try and become active, but to do it as you continue to age. Yeah, of course. I think the most important thing is we all want our independence, and we want it for as long as we can have it. So if, as long as we're moving, we talked about this a little before, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. So if we use it now, but there's also still that welcoming element of if we haven't used it, there's still a space for us to get started. And so that's can really you the start when you're older? Because, Absolutely. Right. For sure. Because I know as a youngster, I never really worked out that much. But now I know the importance of working yeah. out. It can be very intimidating. And so that was really kind of the concept behind Tonal is we wanted to welcome people in who don't maybe understand strength training. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing to remember is like start where you are. Use what you have currently and do what you can. And that's really what Lift for Longevity was all about. And you don't have to sign up and go to a gym or get crazy and lift a lot of weights to do it, right? Of course not. You can do it exactly where you are. Your well, body is weight. Give us some demonstrations right. there or some suggestions. So the best thing to think, especially when we start to age, is to ask ourselves, what do we do on a daily basis? Mm -hmm. And something that Eat. we do besides yeah. eating, <laughs> okay. I saw that lasagna, okay. by the way. Yeah. Well, we can always do okay. things like sitting. Mm -hmm. We're going to climb stairs or come down on the stairs. And then also just carrying things. Okay. So I brought a chair out for us. Okay. So I'll give you guys a little demonstration. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I used specific, specifically with my dad and with my mom is something that we just like a sit mm -hmm. to a stand. Mm -hmm. And this seems like something very easy that we can do, but the reality is once we start to lose our balance, it's how do we do this safely? So what we do at Tonal is we can actually add resistance to help us kind of balance ourselves as we stand. It's good core work it's too. Great core work. And so my mom as a caregiver helps my dad stand out of the chair as well, so it helps keep her strong. So having a chair is great, but sometimes we're like, how can I work out without equipment? So even something as simple as, I know all of us go to the grocery store, we have all of our bags walking yes. in New York City. Right. I'm the put it in one grocery bag kind of girl, so I'm lopsided, but it's core strength. So even grabbing something that you carry on a regular basis, doing high knees, just walking, mm. lots of core strength, lots of stability, cognitive function really increases, and then we can really just kind of go from there. Uh, the last thing is maybe decelerating. We all live in New York, at least we live in New York. Yes. We love the sidewalk. So they bite sometimes. Right. We start to fall. What happens when we fall? Mm. We call that deceleration. It's really just a fancy way of saying slow down. Okay. So one of the things that I can do with my dad is hands back, and then as you step forward, you kind of catch yourself oh. and then go back. So again, no equipment needed. We can add equipment, but just do the basics. Get I, I don't know if you know like the, the stats, but I understand like more older people actually die from falling. Correct. It's because they don't have the strength to stop themselves. That's correct. From it's falling. actually the stats of one in two women are going to have an osteoporosis fracture, and one in four men will have it. And it's mostly 90% of those are from falling. So if we can strength train, if we can learn to catch ourselves and build that muscle, so we don't lose the muscle, we can keep independent and keep moving. So Ash. Can we use things that are in the house to help us with maybe weights, like, you know, soup uh, cans and, and water water bottles? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I do my laundry once a week. It gets kind of heavy, so grab the laundry basket. Grab things that you use on a daily basis. Again, your grocery bags are great, your tote bags. Um, anything that you have that you use on a daily basis is the best way to give yourself the real feedback. As a strength coach and a fitness instructor, you've always been in the midst, but I understand that this kind of hit close to home with your father, right? Yes, yes, it did. So my dad was diagnosed in 2020 with Parkinson's. My mom was actually diagnosed with breast cancer in 2021. So overcoming both of those challenges, they've really leaned into how do we stay younger and stay strong. And I was like, well, good news. You guys have a strength coach as a daughter. So let me design a program. And I designed one specifically for them, Lift for Longevity. It's meant to really help my mom, help take care of my dad, and help my dad stay with me. It's great. I mean, the caregivers need need a little uh, boost every now and then. Right. Uh, Ash, if people want to find you, tell us about your studio. Yes, of course. Uh, you can find me on at, uh, at Ash Wilking Instagram, and then I'm at Tonal, so at Tonal on Instagram as well. And just get out there and get going, no matter what your age, what you have, what little bit you have. Like right. you say, you can do it with whatever you got at home. One thing I like to say is get your Ash moving. <laughs> oh, I like she that. She said it, not me. All right. Thank you so much, Ash. We appreciate it. Thank you. Great lessons for everybody. All right. Good day, New York. Coming right back.